Once upon a time, a king was riding in his carriage through the town, looking through the window at the scurrying people. Suddenly he saw a lonely man sitting in the middle of the crowd who was smiling and looking happy about something. This man was dressed poorly and except the saucer for handouts and the road script, he had nothing else besides him. The king rode past him and soon forgot what he saw. After a few days, the king had to go the same way again, where he saw the same man again, completely happy, dozing with blissfully closed eyes. The next day, the king chose the same way on purpose to see if this man would be in his place and again the image was the same. Intrigued, the king was going the same way almost every day and every time he found this man in the same spirit, smiling. Finally, unable to stand it anymore, the king came out from the carriage and addressed this blissfully happy man with these words. Why are you always smiling? Almost every day, I see you here and it seems that you are absolutely happy. Exactly my master, said the man with a smile. The king was surprised and asked, Why are you happy? Do you have any money? I don't have anything, my master. Maybe during the day, a little bit will fall in for food. Do you have a home or family? Neither this nor that. I wander the world as the wind. Maybe then you have the good health. Absolutely not my master. From the cold of the night, my bones ache often and almost all of my teeth have fallen out. What makes you so happy then? Tell me. Maybe your recipe for happiness will be useful to me. I have everything. But still, I am unhappy. You see, God never sends more challenges for one person that he can't handle and burdens a person only with those circumstances which at that moment are most useful for his development. The circumstances in which the person is a place for spiritualization. I accept that the best thing for me now is what I am, where I am and what is happening with me. I accept it with gratitude and I smile. If necessary, with resistance and patience and if possible, I try to understand what God is trying to say to me with it and in which direction should I move with my development. The realization of it doesn't make me absolutely happy, but I have a clear horizon opening in front of me free from the rainy curtains and filled with the sunny light of awareness. You see in life, in your life, stop for a moment, whatever you are doing, wherever you are in your life and let in the sunny light of awareness. Are you aware of what your problems are at the moment, what your challenges are at the moment and what circumstances you find yourself in? At this moment, close your eyes and understand what life is trying to tell you and in what direction you should move, meditate and listen inwardly and your life will become clear to you. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed.